Hey, what is up you guys? Today has been such an amazing adventure. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better way to have filmed my first cast and blast. So I'm actually already all packed up here and I said goodbye to the lake and now I gotta hike about eight miles in the next two and a half hours before it gets dark. So before we say goodbye, why don't we go all the way back to this morning and start at the very beginning. feet we're now at uh, 3,000 feet which is basically the soft line where rough grouse start to transition into uh, blue grouse but we're about three miles in I haven't seen any sign of a bird yet plenty of bear poop though so let's keep on going and see if we can't get at least one blast on this cast and blast country now but we still have to get right to this point right here scratched up disturbed ground that is a uh, where a grouse has like clawed and picked at insects and rocks and stuff so there is a grouse somewhere here <laughs> where well who knows it's a big forest well, we're about uh, eight miles in right now at uh, 4,500 feet. Um, so yeah, eight miles. I didn't see a single bird, not one. So I guess I just carried that shotgun up for like to build character or something. Did it work? Um, anyway, that uh, that peak I showed you guys is just right back here through the trees. And uh, what I was thinking is that I might come up here for opening day uh, of deer, but I've actually seen a little bit of deer sign here. So um, there's a little glassing spot right back here where I can see into some like open meadows back up in here. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna finish going up to the peak because I'm just gonna leave it undisturbed because opening day is getting pretty close. Um, so what we're gonna do is head back down uh, about a mile back down and head to a lake and uh, see if we can't get to the casting portion of this cast and blast. <laughs> see you guys in a second. Look at this, you guys. There are grouse tracks everywhere in here and little tiny grouse poops, but I got about a half mile to the lake. I'm going to pick apart some of these meadows. Nada. Man, that is infuriating. There's just grouse sign everywhere and I'm not seeing uh, a single bird, but you know what I always say, if you can't beat them. I just flushed one, I think up in this big tree here. I heard it and I only got a glimpse of it. He flew around to the other 
side. Oh my gosh. It sounded like a big boy. Oh my gosh, where is he? There's another one. There's another one. There he is. I got my bottom barrel left. You know what? I'm gonna let that guy be. You're gonna live, buddy. Sorry about your friend, I'm gonna eat him. All right, let's go find that dude. Where did this guy land? <laughs> I'm having a hard time locating him. I watched him fall. He's here somewhere. All right, I'm gonna take my backpack off and have a gander around. I know he's within 10 feet of me. Found him. Oh, he fell almost all the way to the lake. Sorry about the terrible zoom, but do you see the little head right in the middle of the shot? That's what a grouse can look like in a tree. Kind of hard to pick out. So when I flushed that guy, I thought, what a strange looking uh, blue grouse. That's because it is actually a, uh, a roughed grouse. We are currently at 4,000 feet, and this might be one of the highest uh, points I've ever seen a rough grouse, but like I said, that 3,000 foot line was just a soft line. Beautiful, beautiful bird here. He's a little, he's a little beat up, but uh, happy to let that other one go and uh, maintain population, and I just, I don't need to take two. I really just need the one for for lunch, so no, no reason to take more than I need. I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up. I'll be back with you in a minute. So what I was saying was, if you can't beat them. Oh, 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 then just go swimming. Oh, that's so cold. But it's easy to forget that it's October when it's 80 degrees and sunny out. Okay. Let's go fishing. Ah. Time to find out if there's any fish in this lake worth keeping and cooking. Um, I have my opinions. We'll see. What do you guys think? I'm starting out with a little um, uh, rooster tail, 1 16th ounce, green and yellow, because I think it's funny. Uh, it's got sparkles, and I really want to catch a fish with it. So, first cast. Number two, number three, number four. Line drive. Oh, ripped that one up. Number four, redo. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this uh, little tiny jig head here. Come on, fishy. Little switch. Delicious. Delicious jig head. Well, I've been sitting here for a while going through my gear. Nobody's biting nothing. I don't think there's uh, very many or very big fish in here either. Maybe not even worth uh, catching really, but I always do like to check these places off my list of being able to say I caught a fish at this high lake and that high lake. The goal is to get all the high lakes in the North Cascades. Pretty tough goal, as there's probably thousands of them. I'll stop yapping now. <laughs> anyway, uh, I can't get a fish to bite anything, and it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, so there's only about four hours of light left. I'm gonna cook up that, that grouse, and uh, yeah, we'll make something to eat. I'm freaking hungry, as always. So, let's get to cooking. Oh, I got a fish. Oh hey, just a little guy. Maybe I will get to check this uh, lake off the list after all. Let's see, what do we got? Looks like, oh beautiful little brook trout. Nice. Okay buddy, let's get you out of here. See ya. All right, we're gonna add a pan, a little bit of olive oil in there. All right, we'll get all our uh, our grouse, which is actually quite a bit of, that was a pretty big boy. 
Uh, we'll get that all cooked through. It cooks pretty fast. There's some uh, sticks and leaves in there, but that won't hurt nobody. I've got the, uh, obviously the breast meat in there, and then I threw the heart in there, and also uh, I cut all the meat off the legs. And so this is a combo of white meat and dark meat. Maybe next time we get a grouse, I will cut open the gizzard, clean it out, see what they're eating, and then uh, we'll, we'll fry that up. Oh, uh, might as well lay down while you cook. Weird adventures out here in the woods, guys. All right, this grouse is cooked through. So we're gonna set this off to the side, and then bring a little bit of a little bit of water to a boil. Boop -a -doo, boop -a -doo. Waiting for my water to boil. Sun's going down, gonna walk out of here in the dark. Oh, take that, Celine Dion. Okay, rolling boil achieved. Let's add the uh, boiling water to a noodle bowl. But first, let's add this grouse into there. Sticks and all. Stay away from my noodle bowl, bears. It's mine. Oh, look at all that. Holy cow. Look at that. It looks really good. Except that I, uh, I forgot um, a fork. So, a couple sticks. Kimchi noodle grouse. Yep, that's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Sun is going down over the rim of this bowl here. I'm just gonna enjoy the autumn colors. Finish my food and then we'll we'll pack up and get out of here. If you like this kind of content, consider subscribing. I'm uh, I'm hauling ass out of here. I'm trying to keep a pace of Oh, <laughs> well, we made it back to the car. According to the watch, we got 7.65 uh, miles in an hour and 52 minutes with an average speed of 3.9 miles an hour. We made it before dark. I didn't have to bust out the head link, but I am wrecked. Uh, if you guys like this kind of content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.